this looks like a little offshoot, the coastal loop. Probably a little more fun. And uh, leaving Cape Breton Islands. So the coastal loop, let's check it out. Considering it's four o'clock, I might end up sleeping up here. Smoky Mountain tomorrow. We'll see, we'll see. So out here, white to put wood. White Point, North Victoria Six Port Harbor Authority. Yeah. Lots of ice. Uh -huh. Alright, so much for skiing. Looks like uh, the chalet is closed, the ski lifts are closed. It's only, uh, what time is it? 5.20, 5.20 in the evening. Hmm, maybe it closes at 5? I don't know. So this is up on the Cabot Trail. maybe tomorrow uh, I still want to get some crampons and I want to go hiking at Franny I think it's called Franny which is up by here so I will check the website see if they're open tomorrow maybe I'll come skiing here sleep over at the parking lot at Franny and then go hike at Franny Right, sounds like a plan. So the camera doesn't really show it, but it's it's like uh, getting pretty dark now. And me, I don't like driving in the nighttime too much. And with these uh, Cabot Trail roads being so close to the the ledge, it's even more exciting. Keep smoking. I think there's a few people. 
people on the hill anyway, so shouldn't be too bad. First run of the day on the gondola. So the T-bar on the bunny hill is not open, so I guess I gotta go straight up to the top. Doesn't look too bad. Uh, apparently it's a little icy, but it's got a little dusting on the top, so that should give it a little, give it something to uh, grip onto. We'll see, we'll see. Moving on up to the top to a deluxe apartment in the sky. So this is the first run here. Cape Smoky, Cabot Trail, Cape Breton. I think it's about uh, minus eight today, but it's nice and sunny, nice and sunny. Woo! Gotta love it. Got the mountains in the back, got the ocean. Wow, so there's no wonder that nobody's on the hills really. There's like two, three people out in the hills. It is icy. Uh, super slick. Up on the top, it's a little steeper too, right? The first half on the top, it's steep. So you got ice, slick conditions. Yeah. Woo! That was the first, uh, actually last year, I think I skied like uh, once. So. Yeah, my legs are uh, getting used to this, that's for sure. Anyways, I'm sure after a few runs we'll, uh, we'll get, into, get into the swing of things. But yeah, up at the top of the hill, beautiful view. Awesome. They got these brand new gondolas. They got their fancy snow blowing machines. Yeah, apparently the guy who purchased this ski hill recently it's a guy from Czechoslovakia. He was looking for some, uh, uh, f f f he was looking for kind of like his uh, dream property. So anyways, he grabbed this and, and, and I hear, or at least I see, that uh, they're looking to build a sky tower. Uh, basically an observation deck that goes around and around and around up into the sky. And uh, the drawings or the, the concept drawings look amazing. So uh, yeah, that'll be a, that'll be something pretty cool. Yeah, when you haven't skied in a while, you feel like Bambi out there, legs all wobbly and everything. Yeah. Especially with the icy conditions. So let's check out the acoustics in here. Everybody one, get down with the one. Keep smoking on. Come down. Ski down. Everybody get down. All around. Snowshoe. Yes, you too. Blub, blub.
over here by Freshwater Lake in Inganish. So there's the Freshwater Lake. And over there, somewhere over this hill is the ocean. So between the lake and the ocean here, on the map it showed that there's a road. I don't know what kind of road it's gonna be there, but whatever kind of road it is, it's buried under some snow. All right, all right. Dinner time. So today was pretty fun up at Cape Smoky, just right up here behind me. Um, I may or may not be uh, car camping somewhere close by. So I had two uh, dishes of curry, uh, and then I had leftover sauteed vegetables, chickpeas, and coconut milk. Um, and then, if that's uh, not enough, I, I have some uh, some chunky soup that I got today. A uh, couple of cans of uh, Campbell's chunky soup, and I have a little uh, camp camp stove for that. It's a little small portable one. I can set it up outside in the parking lot here. Um, I could probably even do it inside the car, but eh, you know what? We'll do it outside. It's safer. And then uh, I have some dishes to do. I have a bunch of dishes that I've been saving up, so I'll do those as well. Uh, right now it's probably about seven o'clock. Uh, so I'll do that, I'll eat, I'll do the dishes, uh, read a couple, um, listen to a couple uh, chapters of an audio book. And then tomorrow, if everything goes well, I'll be up at Franny just around the corner uh, to do the, uh, the old Franny loop. Uh, that's about, uh, I think it's 7.9 kilometers. Uh, it goes up the hill to the top, get a nice view, and then comes back down a long, uh, long round the way. Ugh. A long roundabout way. And then uh, there's some other trails that go down closer uh, to the to the coast. Um, so depending on how my legs feel. Uh, and I don't even know. I still don't know. Uh, am I going to be snowshoeing? Uh, or is it too icy for that even? Uh, for hiking? So I'm going to fill it up. I'm going to go up a bit at a time. See how it is. And uh, I'll bring the snowshoes on my backpack. And then, uh, yeah, go from there. Chunky soup in a can. Cooking. It's doing the dishes time. Keeping the car running for a little bit to uh, warm it up for the night's sleep. All right, wash, now rinse. Make sure you rinse out the bowl nice before you put in the clean water. All right, back from doing the dishes. Hands are cold. I'd say that's probably uh, my the thing that I like the least about car camping is doing the dishes outside in the freezing cold. Uh, other than that, it's a blast, you see? Uh, someone's just going by on, uh, on the Cabot Trail. Um, yeah, it's beautiful driving up here at nighttime. I love it. Um, so yeah, so dishes are done. Dinner's done. Now it's time just to uh, listen to my audiobook and uh, chill out. Chill out, enjoy the, the beautiful silence after. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Or maybe tonight before I go to sleep. Yeah, the other thing about uh, doing the dishes outside when it's uh, 
What's the temperature? Minus seven is uh, um, after you rinse them. All the water freezes up. So yeah, you gotta bring them inside and then you dry them off. Yep. Hot. Nice and clean. Yep. Very good. How is it with Tupperware? There's always an extra lid or one missing after you finish. I don't know what's up with that. I got three lids, but I got four containers. Hmm. It's like the whole, it's like the sock and socks, socks in the washing machine. Where, you know, always, always, always missing, always missing. What's up with that? Let me know. Good morning. So it's uh, about 6.40. Uh, Wednesday, February 2nd. Uh, yesterday I was skiing at uh, Cape Smoky. I may or may not be uh, close to the parking lot of Cape Smoky. Um, yeah, it was a great day. Beautiful view off the top of Cape Smoky. And uh, yeah, today today we're gonna go to. Uh, do some hiking up at uh, Franny Trail, Franny Trail Loop. Um, should be a nice day. The weather looks nice, uh, according to the forecast. So uh, I think it should be should be in the in the one digits, like uh, minus four or something high of minus four. Uh, low of minus 13. Right now, yeah, it seems about mm, minus 13 or something. Pretty cold. Well, relatively cold. Anyways, gonna make some breakfast now and then, uh, you know, wait until it, it gets uh, light enough so that I can hit the trail. All right. See you soon. It's a balmy minus 14. Uh, again, windows are frozen. Another beautiful day. But look at that. Looks like the sun's coming up. 